All right, everyone. We need to talk right now, because what is unfolding at this very moment is nothing short of game-changing for weather. Patterns across the entire United States. As I'm speaking to you, it's Thursday, January 1st, 2026. The opening day of what may become one of the most chaotic and extreme weather years we've seen in a generation. And what I'm about to show you isn't just another routine forecast. This is reality unfolding in real time as 2026 kicks off with a vengeance. We're breaking down exactly why a massive atmospheric pattern flip is accelerating at full throttle setting the stage for what could become the most volatile January in decades. We're going to cover the critical timing you need to prepare for. The violent temperature swings ahead. And how entire communities could soon find themselves buried under unprecedented weather chaos. And here's the part that should really grab your attention. This energy isn't finished with us. Not even close. This same atmospheric powerhouse is already locking its sights on the entire eastern half of the country, signaling that major storm systems are actively brewing just beyond the horizon. We're going to walk through this evolving pattern step by step and explain the profound implications for the eastern states. Because what's developing right now could be the long-awaited setup. Meteorologists have been watching for years, by the way. If you'd like a specific forecast for your city or region, leave it in the comments and I'll respond individually as time allows. And if you find this breakdown helpful, liking the video and subscribing to the channel truly helps more than you know. Now let's rewind to what unfolded overnight because last night was nothing short of meteorological mayhem. On New Year's Eve, conditions across the country escalated rapidly into an outright weather assault. Heavy, relentless snowfall slammed North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and Michigan throughout the evening hours. Snow was already pouring from the sky as millions of people were traveling for New Year's celebrations, creating a dangerous and chaotic setup on roadways nationwide. At the same time, Thunderstorms were roaring across the southern tier, including Illinois, Indiana, and Missouri. This severe weather threat persisted underneath the same sprawling system, creating a multi-layered weather disaster unfolding simultaneously across an enormous portion of the country. Snowstorms, thunderstorms, dangerous winds all happening at once. Now, if you're exhausted from the brutal cold we've been enduring, I have news that may genuinely shock you. A massive confirmed warm-up is on the way for January, and it's not subtle. We're talking about temperatures surging 15 to 25 degrees above. Normal from Houston all the way north to Minneapolis. This heat surge is set to steamroll through Denver to Nashville. Kansas City to Chicago. Oklahoma City to St. Louis. And from Dallas straight up to Des Moines. This is the CPC. 6 to 10 day outlook while you're seeing is a monster ridge building over the plains. A feature powerful enough to supercharge temperatures on a continental scale. But here's the twist that makes this situation truly unprecedented. This warm up doesn't even begin until January 5th, meaning it arrives after we pile up enormous snow totals. The result? A recipe for rapid snow melt on a massive scale. Northern Michigan. Western New York, Northern Pennsylvania, Southern Ontario. Vermont, New Hampshire, and the entire Great Lakes snow belt will be especially vulnerable. And here's the kicker we're still going to add significant additional snowfall over the next couple of days. So this dramatic warm-up isn't immediate. First, we endure serious punishing cold, particularly east of the Rockies. Before this historic pattern shift fully takes hold dot now. Let's talk about why this is happening, because understanding the meteorology reveals just how dangerous this setup truly is. This pattern shift is being driven by a rare and powerful alignment of global teleconnections. With the Arctic Oscillation, North Atlantic Oscillation, and Pacific North American pattern all lining up in their most favorable and extreme phases. 
as the warm air surges northward. Storm activity is set to explode. Look at what happens after January 8th trough, after trough begins slamming. Through the country as cold air repeatedly collides with this invading warmth. This is how we enter what could become a legendary January. Defined by violent contrasts and relentless systems, these warm for siskeled air. Battles will unleash an extraordinary number of powerful storm systems. Some regions will be buried under crushing snow totals, while others face severe weather threats that could prove catastrophic. Ice storms alone could cripple infrastructure from Oklahoma through Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, and into Virginia and the Carolinas. But before we get lost in the chaos ahead, we need to focus on what happened during those critical overnight hours. If you were traveling on New Year's Eve through the Ohio Valley, Northern Kentucky, Central Pennsylvania, Western New York, Southern Michigan, or Northern Indiana, you experienced exactly what we warned about, from Pittsburgh to Buffalo, Cleveland to Detroit, Cincinnati to Columbus, Toledo to Erie. Akron to Rochester millions of people were suddenly confronted with intense, fast-moving snow squalls. We've dealt with snow squalls before, but last night was a completely different tier of danger. This wasn't just heavy snow. These were whiteout, travel-stopping, life-threatening squalls capable of stranding drivers and turning, highways into instant disaster zones, and right as this system reached its lowest pressure and peak intensity. That's when conditions deteriorated most violently marking. The moment when this storm fully revealed just how dangerous and historic it truly is. This was a legitimate bomb cyclone. And the impacts were nothing short of extreme. We saw intense, punishing snowfall absolutely battering large portions of Wisconsin and the western upper peninsula of Michigan. Once midnight hit, conditions rapidly deteriorated across the entire Upper Peninsula. With heavy, unrelenting snow combined with powerful gale force winds. The probability of true blizzard conditions became extremely high across many locations. This wasn't just a snowstorm. This was the kind of blizzard that shuts down travel completely, strands motorists, and creates life-threatening conditions for anyone unfortunate enough to be caught outdoors. That razor-sharp squall line formed exactly as projected by the HRRR model near Chicago around 5 p.m. And from that moment forward, conditions escalated rapidly. Significant snowfall erupted across Chicago. Rockford and Joliet, extending eastward into Fort Wayne and South Bend. Then pushing into southwestern Detroit, Grand Rapids, and Kalamazoo. This system tapped into tremendous latent energy from the Great Lakes, allowing an exceptionally sharp cold front to lock into this corridor. That setup persisted for hours through the overnight period. And by then, the lower peninsula of Michigan was taking a direct hit, especially across its western half, where snowfall rates intensified and totals began to skyrocket. Northern Illinois and Northern Indiana became fully involved during the coldest pre-dawn hours. When temperatures were at their lowest and snow accumulated with maximum efficiency. As we pushed into the later morning air 9 a.m. Monday conditions, it finally began to ease across Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula. But the storm was still absolutely tearing through the lower. Peninsula of Michigan. That same system delivered an extremely intense 5 to 10 minute burst of heavy Relentless snow across Cleveland, Fort Wayne, Toledo, Akron, and surrounding areas. Brief but dangerous blizzard-like conditions accompanied this surge as it plowed through Columbus, Pittsburgh, and Youngstown, all occurring right around midnight. The storm then surged southeastward, clearing the Great Lakes region, while Indianapolis, Louisville, and Lexington were also impacted. In some areas, including Indianapolis and Cincinnati, precipitation briefly mixed between rain and snow. What's truly remarkable is just how far south this system maintained its strength. By 4 o'clock to 5 a.m., it had pushed into Charleston, Huntington, and Parkersburg, West Virginia.
Here in my area, we caught the trailing edge of the system early this morning, before that energy phased with Atlantic moisture, triggering rapid deepening of a surface low. This wasn't a classic nor'easter, but across Cape Cod, Boston, Providence, Hartford, and up into Maine. It still delivered a solid, heavy thump of snow. However, as is typical with clippers of this magnitude, the real headline is the absolutely devastating lake effect snow, unfolding right now. If you're in the lake effect snow belt surrounding Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, Watertown, Erie, Cleveland, or the Tug Hill Plateau, you are getting completely buried. Multiple locations are piling up feet of snow on top of what was already on the ground. By this morning alone, parts of upstate New York, especially south of Buffalo, east of Cleveland, and west of Rochester had already picked up 23 inches of additional snowfall. Some areas south of Buffalo reported 14 inches, while west of Toronto saw around 13 inches more. Western Michigan came in slightly lower, but still impressive, with 3 to 4 inches near Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, and north of Muskegon. In northern lower Michigan, persistent lake effect bands around Traverse City, Petoskey, and Gaylord delivered an additional 8 inches. Meanwhile, the upper peninsula of Michigan was hammered again, with over a foot of new snow near Marquette, Escanaba, and Iron Mountain. Thank you guys, see you next video.